Today's storms are another blow to those in Melbourne who felt the destructive path of yesterday's tornado. An EF-0 hit about a mile from the Melbourne airport. First warning meteorologist Marquise Mita talked with people there trying to clean up. The storm itself was short-lived, but it was also significantly damaging, leaving residents of Brevard County significantly shaken up yesterday. This morning, the National Weather Service came out to survey the destruction from what was an EF-0 that initially touched down on the intersection of Jefferson Ave and Hoover Street late Thursday afternoon, then crossing over into Sarno Road. What they found were folded flag stands and fences, obstructed swimming pools, and roofs in need of desperate repair. According to their report, the tornado had estimated wind speeds between 65 and 85 miles per hour and a path length of a quarter mile. And with it being severe thunderstorm season in Central Florida, spin-ups like these can be all too common. We see a lot of these, uh, typically they're on the ground for a short period of time and produce damage over relatively small areas. And they're generally on the weaker side, but we can see a couple stronger uh, tornadoes in the summer months as well. With what started as a severe thunderstorm, the initial microburst crossed over Sandburst Street. Resident Joshua reported hearing a loud roar and seeing debris flying through the air with the initial winds just before the twister. It wasn't raining, it wasn't windy, there was no thunder, no lightning, and I looked out and I saw a piece of fence from that spot there just flying across the sky into the neighbor's fence, and I was like, what is going on? But that was just the leading edge of far worse destruction as a tornado was soon to come barreling through. About five, ten minutes later, we start hearing a little bit of a rumbling, and there was a tornado that came from the uh, north, north direction, came through here, ripped our carport, flipped it over, did some other wind damage, and then from what I saw, it hit Sarno and basically just lifted up. Emergency services responded quickly to the scene to clean up the debris, and that process continues today. They're restoring power to affected areas, and we see many fixing roofs. Thankfully, no injuries were reported, but the tornado left a lasting impression on the community. Having folks be weather aware, you know, always uh, be ready to take cover during these severe, strong and severe thunderstorms. And when you do get those tornado warnings, uh, to take them seriously and take cover. During the early summer months, tornadoes like this can occur with little warning, which is why it's of the utmost importance to have a plan that can make all the difference. The National Weather Service continues to monitor reports, but also advises residents to stay alert through local news reports and also weather alerts that you can find on your phone. From Brevard County, Marquise Mito, West 2 News.